Incorporating 3D graphics into user interfaces requires skills and takes time. And that's not including the amount of work put into the model using tools like Maya, Modo, or Blender. Qt Design Studio can leverage models, materials, and animations built in popular applications like Maya and import formats such as FBX, OBJ, GLTF2, Blender, and Collada. For this demo, we're going to start by exporting a model from Maya in FBX format. Once that has completed, we'll go into our Design Studio project. You'll notice we currently have a 2D image in the interface that we want to replace with something in a more interactive and engaging way. I'll import the FBX model through my Assets panel and then drop it into the scene along with a few point lights reminiscent of a basic three-point light setup. I'll make a few adjustments to the position and orientation using the Properties panel, which resembles the 2D image I was previously using. That's looking good. 3D can provide new ways to explore the product. Using a combination of tools with QDS, I'll add an interaction to allow the user to rotate the model, which can open up an entire new realm of possibilities now. Let's bring a mouse item in from the Cute Quick Basic library and scale it so it covers the entire 3D seat model. This will be our boundary for the touchscreen interactive area. Then in the bindings tab, I'll add a binding to the mouse area with the drag target property. I'll go back over to the navigator window, select my 3D model and add a binding. I think I only want the seat to rotate along the vertical or the y-axis, so I'll set the property only to the y-axis rotation. I want to control the seat rotation by dragging my finger horizontally across the screen, so I'll set the mouse item as the source item and restrict the drag horizontally. Alright, let's test this. Nice. 